guys, get off the couch and do it. I'm telling you, I was you. I sat on the couch and went, oh, that looks like so much fun. Wish I could do it. And here I am. Hello, Mike. Hello, Anna. How are you, dear? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. Thank you for having me. Of course. Of course. You're the, <laughs> I don't know, the best person on that tour. Mm, well, let's not go there. It's equal for everybody. But, <laughs> I mean, you and I have known each other for a few months now. We've done a few Skype yeah. calls yeah, together. Yeah, we did a few Skypes together. Yeah. But uh, tell more about the guys. Tell more about yourself. Like, um, where are you from? How old yeah. are you? What do you do for life? So yeah. the guys will have the picture, uh, whom they have. And uh, if you're going to have success, like what rate of success they have? Absolutely. My name is Mike. I'm 59 years old. I'm from South Carolina, United States of America. I am an outside sales representative for the largest lumber and building material supplier in the U.S. I've been with the company for 25 years. My 25th anniversary, they made the mistake of giving me unlimited paid time off. Oh so my now God. I'm in Ukraine and I may not go back. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, this will be day two of the socials, and uh, I was one of those guys that was sitting on the couch, the keyboard Romeo, you know uh -huh. my story, and it's still continuing. I got an email from her yesterday, and you watch the AFA videos, and you drift off into fantasy land, and you say, I wish that was me. I wish I could do that. Guys, get off the couch and do it. I'm telling you, I was you. I sat on the couch and went, oh, that looks like so much fun. Wish I could do it. I spoke with John. And he said, uh, Mike, your plane leaves Friday. Get off the couch. And here I am. What were your expectations before coming here? You knew that there is a war. Um, you had some correspondence with a girl that was and wasn't there. So, right. um, and socials, we didn't know how it's going to be because of the air alert sometimes and everything. So yeah. what were your expectations about Kiev in general and your social? Yeah, I... Um watch a lot of videos on YouTube, I'm mm -hmm. walking streets of Kiev, and, and you can see how peaceful it really is. If all you do is watch the news, you're only gonna see the bad of what's going on, yeah. and that, that's what scares yeah, people. That's, true. that's what scares people. But be well-rounded, do your research, look into every aspect of what's going on in Ukraine and Kiev. So if you're afraid of the war, there's no reason to be, you're, you're Safer. There is a reason to be. I'm going to tell you right yeah. away. We don't recommend guys to come. And he signed the big paper that he knows where he's going, that there is a war. Mm -hmm. There might be accidents uh, and everything. And he worrying about it. So, yes, it's not recommended in any way. Even if he said that it's quiet and we go to restaurants, we go to great Ukrainian restaurant, yeah. right? But yet you have to be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. I mean, it's under... You have to be ready for everything, yeah. basically. We're under martial law. There's military and policemen with automatic weapons everywhere. So you stay with the girls, stay with Anna, stay with the tour. Don't go venturing off on your own, especially not telling the girls where you're at. I mean, this is mom. I checked in with her when I got home last night, yes. okay? Yes, <laughs> he did. So, and that was great. Yeah. I'm thankful for that. Tell me, uh, did you expect that, uh, because later right in one thing, profiles mm. and checking the profiles is one thing, you know, at home. But when you got to the social yesterday and you saw all this girl, did you expect any of that? It was beyond my expectation. I mean, it was mind blowing. To see the girl's picture and read her profile, you know, you're looking at a one dimensional page, flat picture. When you see these women in real life, they are, I mean, they are the most beautiful women on the planet. Absolutely. Friendly, outgoing. Um, if you're gonna come, I had the advantage to do this. I spent almost a whole year researching and studying Ukrainian culture, history, mm -hmm. traditions. I'm even mentoring some of the guys. Yeah. The last night I've met with a couple yeah. of them and they're like, well, this happened last night. And I'm like, well, here's why. Here's the mm -hmm. mistake you made. And he's like, I'm not gonna make that mistake today at the social. So I had the advantage to really study. I've learned some of the language. I've got some ice breaking Mm -hmm. phrases which the girls love i mean when i sit down and say free dick spravi they just oh because i'm putting the effort yes you in, do. into you it do. and it really impresses the ladies so if you plan on coming please take the time to do that do you feel like your search may be hopeless 
Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at keevwomen.com.